So someone asked how to do the uh, Moody Marley kill effect, and I kind of found a way to do it. So you could just mess with it, tweak it. But I'll just show you my way right now. So you're gonna find, you're gonna have your clip, and like go right to where he's about to die. So you're gonna skip right where you see that X pop up, one frame before it. Split it, and then just go like two, three, three frames, and then ten more frames after that. Just about ten frames actually, and then zoom in. Right before you cut it, you're gonna click on it, go over to color, and you're just gonna add a zoom blur, and then make sure to check these two these keyframes right here. And basically, at the beginning, you're gonna mark a zoom amount, go three frames forward, mark it again, and then just go all the way to the end of the clip and mark it one more time and put it to zero, and then go to the first key node make that zero and go to the middle one and you can just make it a little bit more like 480 or so you're gonna go to the middle keyframe right here and you're gonna go over to light and you're just gonna crank it up to where it gets really like shiny and bright which I think 230 or 250 is good for me and then just go to the beginning to make sure like right here it didn't there's no di it's still bright so you're just gonna go back to the exposure and then just change it back to uh, zero and once that's zero you're gonna go to the end clip again and set that at zero also and go back to the middle clip and this we're gonna change whatever color you want like he does like this color effect and I'm just gonna do red right now so you're gonna click on this middle keyframe Go over to the global and I'm just gonna push it up to a red so it turns red. Like I think that's good. And then make sure to go back to the beginning and the end to make sure that it's it's only happening in the middle. Like it's fading in and out. And then you're gonna go to the timeline, effects, open effects, and you're gonna scroll all the way down to where you see camera shake. And you're gonna add that onto the timeline. So in here, we're going to go to the beginning of this frame, mark motion scale, speed, and PTR speed. Go three frames forward to where like everything gets really exaggerated, and mark those three keyframes again. And then last one, you're going to go all the way to the end, and mark those three. And set the PTR speed to zero, go back to the first one one more time set it to zero, go to the third frame keyframe that we marked, and we're just going to raise the motion and speed just a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. And this is something you can mess with and change it however you want. And if you look back on it, right, right here, it should be, some of you might be fine with this, but there's more. And if you want to add like a, a sound effect, you can just look up the sound effect he uses. Like I have it right here. The one that I got, I'll put a link below. And if you don't know how to like download sound effects off YouTube, I have a video also you can look at. And so we're just gonna lower the volume of this so it's not too loud, and we're just gonna match it up on that third keyframe. And everything gets exaggerated, which it already is. And if you look back on it, it should end up like this, just like that. And there's different ways you can mess with this. Like you can change the color. Instead of doing like the zoom effect that we did, you can change it. He does multiple effects also, so you can just go around and change it and just have fun with it. But this is just like the blueprint of how to do it. And that's it. Thank you.